Hello and welcome back to another exciting video on Biotechnique series of Explore Bio. Today you will learn about RNA interference or RNAi which is one of the most useful regulatory mechanisms occurring in our body and which has also emerged as a powerful technique in molecular biology. I will explain what RNA interference is, how it works and some interesting applications and wonders of RNAi technology. This topic is especially important for entrance tests and examinations. If you are a researcher in the field of functional genomics or transgenics, then it is useful for you also. So watch this video till the end. Before you learn about what RNAi is, it is essential to know why RNAi is important. And for this, you should have a basic understanding of two basic processes of central dogma, transcription and translation, which I will briefly mention. Each cell of our body has nearly the same DNA. First, RNA polymerase 2 reads the genetic code on our DNA or specific genes and transcribes them to the messenger RNA or mRNA. This process is termed as transcription that takes place within the nucleus of the cell. In the next step, this mRNA is transported to the cytoplasm where it is encountered by ribosomes, tRNA and several other proteins which results in protein synthesis. This process is termed as translation. But not all the genes are expressed and translated to protein all the times in all the cells. And there is a right reason for this. For example, you do not want the proteins involved in digestion to be expressed in your nervous system. Similarly, you do not want all the proteins involved in digestion to be expressed all the time but only when there is a need by the body upon the consumption of food. This way all the biological processes like growth, development, defense, reproduction are highly regulated by modulating the expression of all the genes in our genome. And when this regulation is disrupted due to any reason, it may result in abnormal growth, disease and even cancer. And here comes the significance of RNA interference. RNA interference or RNAi is one of the key mechanisms of post-transcriptional gene silencing or PTGS. It regulates gene expression by inhibiting the translation process or by mRNA degradation. The word interference in RNA interference refers to its interaction with mRNA which interferes with the protein synthesis. It was initially discovered in plants and was thought to function as a part of defense mechanism against viruses. Subsequently, it was shown to be a ubiquitous silencing mechanism that is present in all eukaryotes including protozoa, plants and animals. But the term RNA interference was first coined for the phenomena when it was observed in the nematode C. elegans. And for this discovery of RNAi, in 2006, two American scientists, Andrew Fire and Craig Mello, shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. So now you know what RNAi is, let's learn how RNAi works. RNAi involves 21 to 24 nucleotides long regulatory RNAs, namely microRNA and short interfering RNAs, which interacts with mRNA of the target gene by partial or complete base complementarity. These miRNA or siRNA forms RNA-induced silencing complex with ergonaut and other proteins and one of these strands called as the guide strand remains bound to the RISC complex. The guide strands of the regulatory RNA binds to the target mRNA which results in the prevention of translation or mRNA cleavage which later on is degraded by nucleases, thus ultimately down-regulating the protein synthesis. Although miRNA or siRNA share significant similarity, there are several key differences in their origin and mechanism of action. On this I will be uploading a dedicated video very soon. However, there are evidences that suggest that RNAi can also result in DNA methylation by interaction of RISC with chromatin remodeling complex or DNA methylases. This is a type of epigenetic regulation of gene expression. Here, the transcription of the genes is regulated by siRNA or miRNA. Now we know the importance of RNAi and how it works, let's have a look at some of the most interesting applications of RNAi. RNAi is a naturally occurring process in an organism to prevent genes being translated to proteins. It plays an important role in genome stability, growth, development, defense against viral infections and resistance to other abiotic stresses. After the discovery of mechanism of RNAi, scientists have designed and synthesized regulatory siRNA molecules that targets specific mRNA and prevents its translation. This is a huge application in therapeutics to treat various diseases and developing transgenic plants with desired characters. 
Now let's have a look at some of the most interesting examples of RNAi. Generating hybrid plants is essential for developing new varieties. However, in case of plants that produce seeds by self-fertilization, it becomes difficult and time-consuming to produce hybrids which involves crossing of two different parents. Scientists have succeeded in producing male sterile lines in various crops to facilitate development of newer varieties. For instance, using RNAi TA29, a gene involved in pollen development was downregulated to develop male sterile lines. This way the plant can only be cross-pollinated with the variety of our interest to develop new hybrids. Who wants tears in the eyes? Naturally, onions when chopped results in the production of biological compounds that induces tears. Scientists used RNAi to suppress the expression of one of the pathway genes, lacrimatory factor synthase, which ultimately resulted in the reduced level of tear-inducing lacrimatory compounds. This way, tearless onions were produced. Coffee is one of the world's most popular beverages. Many people enjoy drinking coffee, but they want to limit their caffeine intake for personal preferences or health reasons. For these people, decaffeinated coffee can be an excellent alternative. RNAi was used to target MXMT1 gene producing decaffeinated coffee in transgenic plants. Now you can enjoy the benefits of coffee while eliminating caffeine. Nowadays people are more concerned about their health and are trying to increase the fiber intake while reducing the sugar consumption. And as you know, naturally consumed crops like wheat and maize grains and sweet potato have large quantities of starch which rapidly increases the sugar level. RNAi for targeting starch branching enzyme in these crops showed increased level of amylose, which is a form of resistant starch. Resistant starch slowly releases sugar upon digestion and thus useful for digestive health, especially for diabetics. We all love tomatoes. You can consume it raw or make dishes out of it. But do you know it is a rich source of lycopene which is a carotenoid well known for its antioxidant potential. It prevents oxidative damage in our body as a result of metabolism and stresses which is linked to aging, heart diseases and certain kind of cancers. Suppressing the expression of lycopene cyclase gene in tomato fruits has proved to be an effective way to enhance the content of lycopene in tomatoes. This is another example where metabolic pathway was engineered using RNAi to develop superior tomatoes. Ryegrass is a perennial forage plant for cattle. However, its pollen are the major cause for hay fever and seasonal allergic asthma which affects 25% of the population in temperate climates. To overcome this problem, two genes of ryegrass were silenced using RNAi to develop hypoallergic ryegrass. Viruses are one of the major threats to the plants and once virus infects the plant, it becomes very difficult to prevent the disease and it is spread due to fast replication rate of the virus. RNAi has been proved effective in preventing viral multiplication by degrading its mRNA and developing virus resistant potato plants. Another useful approach is host induced gene silencing. This is another way of preventing pathogens like fungus and nematodes by targeting genes critical for pathogenicity within the pathogen. For this, the RNA molecules produced in the host plants get transferred to the pathogen inhibiting its attack on the plant. A major challenge in the post-genomic era of plant biology is to determine the function of genes. Compared to other techniques, RNAi offers specificity and efficacy in silencing target genes. RNAi is used in functional genomic research to knock down the genes preventing protein synthesis and thus helpful in determining their function. How downregulation of a gene helps in determining the function has been discussed in more detail in the later portion of my antisense RNA video. The link is given in the description below. So these are some of the practical applications of RNAi technology. To learn more about it, you can refer the research articles and reviews linked in the description below. To sum up the today's video, RNA interference is a crucial regulatory mechanism to downregulate gene expression involving miRNA and siRNA. These RNA together with RNA-induced silencing complex interacts with mRNA, inhibits translation or results in mRNA degradation, ultimately downregulating the gene expression. RNAi is naturally involved in maintenance of genome stability, cell division, defense and other biological processes. And scientists have used RNAi for developing disease resistant and nutritionally useful transgenic crops and treating several human diseases. If you find the video useful, do not forget to check out my other interesting videos on biotechnics series. Comment below which of these applications you find most interesting. Go through my various playlists on nutrition and health, AI tools, research and publishing, genetics, markers, plant tissue cultures and lot more.
Stay connected for more such interesting stuffs. Thanks and see you in my next video.